Hey, this is Pastor Aaron, and this is your midweek encouragement. What is your truth? What is truth? You know, more than ever, right now, truth is being questioned, unlike, I believe, any other time in history. I think because of the access of technology, because of social media and so many people's opinions, whether it's from big news networks or just from your neighbor or some stranger you don't even know, forms of opinion and communication are flowing by the billions on the internet and to our face and to our ear like never before. But it begs the question, what really is truth? Because everybody seems to have a different form of truth. Now, I want to tell you today, as a Christian person, my truth is not something I've created in my head, but I actually go to a source that is higher than me, and it's this right here. This is the Bible, the Holy Word of God. Now, right now, there's a bunch of movements out there attempting to discredit the Bible. They are attempting to say only parts of it may be true, or I want to believe this and not that. But I want to tell you something, that serving God or choosing to believe something many times is not a picking and choosing. You know, I don't believe we can obtain the fullness of what God has for us or even salvation without believing the whole truth of the Word of God. Now, I want to read you a scripture to encourage you today because maybe you've been struggling with this, and I believe this might shed some light onto the subject. The Gospel of John chapter 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. Then if you go down to verse 14, and it says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. You know, when someone tries to skim through these pages and say, I believe this, but not that, or I believe the writings of this one, but not the writings of another. I mean, we really begin to pull apart something that the Lord has instituted for thousands of years. What an attack and I believe trick of the enemy to get us to think that only certain parts of the Bible are relevant or applicable and the others, they're just opinion based. Well, I'll tell you this, this book takes one big word and it's called faith. If you don't have faith, you won't be able to believe this word. But if you believe it with faith, you can accept the whole truth and drink it in and live by it and have the fruit that comes from that. Many things going on in our world today are trying to discredit the Bible so that we can justify certain lifestyles or certain sin or different things to say, oh, well, God uh, doesn't come against that or that because I, I believe that that part of the Bible isn't true. Can I tell you something? That's a, that's in a trick of the enemy. You cannot pull out parts of this word and then call it truth because human flesh decided to. That's not our call. You know, the Word and Scripture have been around. Even Jesus himself preached out of the Holy Scripture when he went into the synagogues and went around on this earth before he ascended into heaven himself. We must understand this Word has been around longer than you and me. And guess what? According to the Scripture, it's going to even be in heaven. And so we got to get something straight, and that is this that if we're going to live by the word, we have to live by the word. That's the only way we can be set free from the attacks and the tricks of the enemy. And I believe it's the only way to salvation because here's the reality. If we decide to pull parts of the word out, we are pulling the truth of who Christ is out uh, from under us. And the only way to heaven is through him. We can't have a part of him. We can't just take a little bit. We have to have all of him, just like we have to accept all that the word has for us. So if you've been struggling with this or you know somebody who has, I just want to encourage you really simply. It takes faith to believe the word. And it, it's not about whether you like the word or not or like certain scriptures. This isn't about our preference. This isn't about us as humans changing it to find things that only fit what we desire. This is about receiving something that's from our creator in heaven for us as his creation and saying, you know what, I believe it. And what it says, I'm going to live it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to follow it. God is love and his love permeates through every page of this book. 
So whatever it is you're going through right now, open this word up, find the truth. Jesus is the word. He came to this earth, became flesh, and all grace and truth came through him. Let's pray. Father, for any person watching, I pray that, Lord, your truth explodes in their heart and in their spirit. Let them be encouraged by this, that they know any answer they are looking for is found in the Holy Scripture. We come against any attack of this, Lord, and I pray people are set free in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching today. And as always, I encourage you to subscribe to our channels, follow Expect Hope. And if you're ever in the Denver area, we invite you to come visit us at Expect Hope Church. God bless you.